What is up guys? This is Bullshot, back again with another Call of Duty Mobile video. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. So in today's video, I am gonna be covering the top 5 most powerful custom loadouts to use inside of the Battle Royale, which are heavily recommended according to my personal opinion. I am gonna be ranking these 5 insanely powerful loadouts, based on their time to kill, their recoil management, and their overall versatility in the battlefield, and I am gonna be informing you the best modification attachments you can use alongside these custom gunsmith builds. The entire thing may be a little bit longer, but the video and the loadouts will be extremely helpful for all of my fellow viewers. That's why, I am suggesting you to stick to the end of the video. Now, if this is your first time here in my channel, then be sure to press the subscribe button and turn on post notifications. I make some great tips and tricks videos and make some pretty powerful loadouts for the Battle Royale. And trust me, you don't want to miss out any of my custom build. You can also follow me on Instagram and join my Discord server for exclusive tips and more awesome content. Links are provided in the description. Anyways, with that being said, let's get right into the video. Starting at number 5 spot, I have a one-shot build for the DLQ-33, which is pound for pound, currently the best bolt-action sniper rifle available inside of the Battle Royale. This weapon has great overall dynamics, which includes good sprint speed, good ADS speed, and a huge hitbox multiplier. Being able to one-shot kill when hitting the belly, this sniper rifle is one of the best choices for going close range and is extremely forgiving at longer ranges. If you want to go for a guaranteed long-range kill, then the custom DLQ-33 is by far the best choice to use in the Battle Royale. Especially, if you equip the brand new Mavwood Omega-1 signature attachment, then this sniper rifle can provide you with some pretty amazing performance. If you don't manage to secure the kill with the first shot, this magazine helps you slow down the enemy, making the consecutive shots easier to connect. Here is the best custom gunsmith loadout of this bolt-action sniper rifle, which is a long-range suppressed build and also equipped with the new signature magazine attachment as well. It is a pretty well-rounded custom sniper rifle that can give you guaranteed kill even if you manage to hit the first shot to the arms or the legs of the enemies. For the mods with this custom build, I am recommending you to use the extended magazine mods, the fast ADS mods, and most importantly, the sniper expert mods, to get the most effective results possible. Then, coming at number 4 spot, I have the KRM-262 and the HS-0405. I use both of them, depending on my mood. To be honest, the KRM is more fun to use than the HS-04 in my opinion. By default, it has a rather large hipfire spread, though the pellet spread becomes much tighter when aiming down the sights. Damage-wise, it deals the highest damage in its class, needing only one pellet to kill at extremely close ranges, but when closer to 9 meters, it will require all of its pellets to hit their target to kill them in one shot. After 9 meters, it will always kill in two shots, even with only one pellet, due to its sheer amount of flat damage. Whereas the rate of fire of the HS-04 is lower, comparing to the other pump-action shotguns, such as the BY-15 of the KRM-262. But it can deal incredibly high damage in close-range engagements. The HS-04 has insane one-shot range, having the ability to deal incredibly high damage up to 5 meters. It has the top-tier mobility of a shotgun, allowing the player to be harder to hit, while being able to make close-quarter combats more effective. However, it does have incredibly low rate of fire and wide pellet spread, therefore it is best used with the aim down sight, which increases the gun's lethal range dramatically. Here are the best gunsmith setups of these two shotguns, where I have increased the range of damage and I have improved their overall versatility in the battlefield. And for the mods with these two gunsmith builds, use the long barrel mods for the shotguns, the fast ADS mods, and the long range mods to get the most effective results possible. Now, coming at number 3 spot, I have this highly recommended custom gunsmith setup of the Maddox, which is by far my most used loadout after the release of this assault rifle. This is a heavily powerful weapon for close to mid-range engagements. It has an awesome balance of superior mobility, high fire rate, amazing magazine capacity, and insanely high damage per bullet, which helps this weapon to confirm the kill, incredibly faster in close-range encounters, which is faster than a lot of weapons in the current scenario. Here is the most powerful gunsmith loadout of the Maddox, with increased range and improved mobility. I am using the reinforced heavy barrel, which increases the overall range of damage and the bullet velocity of this weapon by a staggering 33%. And the sturdy grip tape will completely eliminate the recoil of this assault rifle. You are also getting a decent amount of improved mobility by using the YKM combat stock and the fast extended magazine. 
it is a pretty versatile class setup for close to mid-range battles, with little to zero recoil and incredibly high ADS bullet spread accuracy. Anyways, for the mods, with this custom Maddox build, I am recommending you to use the vertical recoil control mods, the precise shot mods, and the extended magazine mods to get the best results possible. Then, coming at number 2 spot, we have the Fennec and the PPSH-41. Both of these submachine guns are amazing with their custom variants. The Fennec is extremely optimized for up-close engagements. It has one of the fastest amount of rate of fire, and the hip-fire accuracy of this weapon is exceedingly accurate. Although it is not as accurate as the RUS, still, it can inflict some serious amount of damage in close quarter engagements. On the other hand, the PPSH is one of the fastest killing weapon inside of the Battle Royale. But it got slightly downgraded after the release of the previous season. This submachine gun has a deadly combination of ammunition capacity and slightly lower fast fire rate than the Fennec. And on top of that, it also has a pretty solid hip fire accuracy and high quality damage range, which is much higher than the Fennec. Here are the most powerful custom gunsmith builds for these two weapons. Both of these builds have insanely high hip fire accuracy, and both of these builds are highly optimized for close quarter engagements inside of the Battle Royale. And for the mods with these two custom submachine guns, I am recommending you to use the hip fire boost mods, the long range mods, and the extended magazine mods to get the best results possible. Now, before we get to the number one spot, I need to talk about one honorable mention, which is my custom Krieg 6 build. The Krieg 6 is a high tier assault rifle inside the Battle Royale that has almost identical stats of the M4. This weapon has pretty moderate amount of damage and it is very easy to use in close to mid-range engagements. However, it has customizable bullet velocity, which provides you with the ability to use this weapon in longer ranges as well. The ADS bullet spread of this assault rifle is extremely accurate and the overall recoil pattern is pretty comfortable to handle. Anyways, here is the best custom gunsmith build for this high-performance assault rifle, including the recommended modification attachments. If you are getting bored with the M4, then this weapon can be a great alternative choice for you. And finally, coming at number 1 spot, we have the M4 and the AK-47, two most powerful assault rifles to use for long-range engagements. I personally use the AK-47 because in my opinion, it is by far the most powerful and most balanced assault rifle to use inside of the Battle Royale. This weapon has a great balance of damage range and ADS bullet spread accuracy, which are two main key factors for any long-range weapon. On the other hand, the M4 is a mid-tier assault rifle with a pretty moderate amount of damage and insanely high accuracy for long-range engagements, which basically acts like a legal aim bot hack. The only downside of this weapon is the damage per bullet, which is pretty lower comparing to the other assault rifles. But while the damage is moderate on paper, it has close-range chest multipliers, allowing the gun to compete in closer encounters. While not as powerful as the Kilo 141, it has stronger range and a slightly higher rate of fire. Here are the best custom gunsmith loadouts of these two powerful assault rifle, where I have mainly focused on the damage range and the bullet spread accuracy, specifically for the long-range battles. Both of these two builds are highly optimized for long-range engagements. Anyways, for the mods with these two custom gunsmith builds, I am recommending you to use the extended magazine mods, the precise shot mods, and the long-range mods to get the most effective results possible. Anyways, that's basically it for today's video. I hope you have enjoyed today's contents. It would be greatly appreciated if you drop a like and share this with your teammates. And if you are new here, then don't forget to press the subscribe button and turn on post notifications. I upload some pretty helpful tips and tricks videos and make some pretty powerful gunsmith loadouts for the battle royale. And trust me, you don't want to miss out any of my custom build. Follow me on Instagram and join my Discord server for exclusive tips and more awesome content. Links are provided in the description. Alright then, have a great day. I'll catch you at the next one with another new amazing video for the battle royale. Till then, take care. Bulls out.